And we thought we'd talk about uh, Kobe Bryant, who, of course, has passed uh, passed away from a helicopter crash. Um, Connor, this is this is incredibly sad news because, funny enough, I was at a pub quiz last week, and uh, the, the the question in the pub quiz was what what year did Kobe Bryant retire? We we got the answer right, being 2016. But I never would have thought three or four days later I would find out on my phone that Kobe Bryant has has died in a helicopter crash. Straight away, Connor, your thoughts on this? Yeah, it's it's a really sad uh, event. Of what's happened over the past 24 hours or so? I just remember uh, working last night for Gimme Sport, and the the news popped up on my feed about half seven, and I was I was just in emotional shock, really, from from that moment on. I just didn't believe it was true. You know, a, a player of such heights as Kobe Bryant, you know, similar heights or even greater heights than the likes of Lionel Messi and and uh, Cristiano Ronaldo in football, uh, just just supernatural players when it comes to the game of basketball, you know, joining the league straight away from high school. Not many people do that at all. And he goes on to have the career that he had, you know, five-time NBA champion, two times finalist in the, uh, uh, two times uh, MVP uh, finalist, uh, two, uh, 2008 MVP as well, 18-time All-Star, 15-time All-NBA, 12-time All-Defensive, two-time scoring champ, uh, first in points, games, and wins in Lakers history in both regular season and playoffs. And the only player in NBA history to have two numbers retired for the same team as well. The Los mm. Angeles Lakers, just just a, just a really, really sad story and one that's affected a lot of people because he had a bigger impact, not just in the sport of basketball, but overall in life as well with the whole Mamba mentality. It really served a lot of people because he was just... A, he, he really demonstrated how to, to be a person in life, uh, both on and off the court. And, you know, he did have his, his controversies and uh, his, his uh, middle-ups and things like that and his mistakes. But overall, he always found a way to try and overcome him and he always tried to, to set the best example. Uh, I remember just reading some of the stories over the past couple of days, uh, sorry, over the past day or so, uh, of uh, memories that people have with Kobe Bryant. And one of them was about how he always woke up at three o'clock, four o'clock every single morning to go to the gym and train. And that was just part of his mentality. If you want to be the best, you have to do everything else that no one else is doing. And um, for him, it was to, to go to the gym at three or four o'clock in the morning and, and train and uh, go on to the courts and make sure that he didn't leave that court until he made like 800 shots. And this is what made him become arguably the best in the whole history of basketball up there with the likes of Michael Jordan. I think it is, as well, you, I remember watching last night his his final game for the LA Lakers in, in 2016, which he got 60 points in that match. Um, and he turned it around in the last few seconds of the game to, to get LA Lakers the win, which is the best way to go out. And you could tell from within the arena everyone was going to miss him he as you say equivalent of Messi or Ronaldo where you know this is a this is a great what we may never see again so when you see all the celebrities as well they're filming it they're they're stunned just as much as the fans were in the arena just shows how big of an influence he was yeah he was a huge influence just going back to to that game that you were talking about his last game in his career when he scored the 61 points uh, throughout that entire season, he never averaged or scored more than 41 points up until that game. And wow. you know, for, throughout that year as well, um, there was celebrations and um, thankful videos being presented by each and every away team that he visited throughout the year. Uh, it was just a true, uh, a true love and passion for Kobe Bryant and what he delivered for the game. Uh, throughout that entire season, and that, that same thing's being replicated now. Um, now, now that he's uh, sadly passed away in the helicopter crash yesterday, uh, I, I think it was the uh, Toronto Raptors and the San Antonio Spurs uh, yesterday were one of the first teams that uh, found out about uh, the Kobe Bryant death whilst they're still playing. It was, I think it was moments before uh, the uh, the tee off in their game, and uh, in the opening in the opening portion of the game, in the opening minutes. We have the 24-second clock uh, in which uh, a team must take a shot at the basket uh, over the turnover. And, of course, Kobe Bryant, one of his numbers, was uh, 24. And both teams in that game decided to uh, to not take a shot in those 24 seconds for both teams. So for 48 seconds of the opening of that game, there was 
completely uh, no no shots taken whatsoever, just out of respect for Kobe Bryant and what he delivered for the game. And now a lot of people as well put out petition to make Kobe Bryant the new logo of the NBA. That's currently held by uh, Jerry West, who is uh, the iconic silhouette that you see on the NBA logo. And funny enough, Jerry West is very much tied to Kobe Bryant as well. He was the one that was responsible for bringing in Kobe Bryant uh, through the draft. He traded for him because, of course, Kobe Bryant was originally drafted by the Charlotte Hornets and the, the LA Lakers made a trade for uh, for Kobe Bryant to bring him into town uh, straight out of our high school and Jerry West was a huge influence about that and he was uh, very emotional in his uh, interviews with the, uh, the press uh, over the past 24 hours uh, because of his deep connection with Kobe Bryant and, and now a lot of people want um, him, Kobe Bryant, to become the new logo of uh, the NBA and to be the new silhouette uh, that everyone sees on the jerseys, and I think that would be a, a very fitting tribute for, for Kobe Bryant as well, for what he's done for the game of basketball and for the NBA. Uh, there's been there's been reports as well. Uh, I can't I can't do any con- confirmation, but there's been reports as well that the league may be looking as well to make 24 and uh, number eight completely retired for all NBA teams, meaning yeah. that no teams would would ever wear uh, number eight or number 24 again. And uh, that's another avenue that's being explored to get out of respect for him. But this is going to be a huge week, really, for the NBA. Uh, we're going to see plenty more tributes come out over the next coming days for Kobe Bryant. Uh, the LA Lakers, are, uh, they, they were traveling uh, in the air at the time of Kobe Bryant's death, and they only found out once the plane had landed in Los Angeles. And now, uh, uh, just in a, a, few, a few days' time, they're going to be playing against uh, the uh, LA Clippers, the Los Angeles Clippers, in the Staples Center. So it's going to be quite a uh, quite a, a, a extraordinary event, really. Uh, and and I'm, I would, would not be surprised if uh, if there is a huge honor for Kobe Bryant in the years to come outside Staples Center because he deserves a statue for what he's delivered for not only for the LA Lakers but for uh, the NBA as well. Absolutely. I mean, just just from what you've been explaining, Connor. I mean, straight away that. If that doesn't get your statue, then I don't know what does uh, to change the sport and to obviously be the be the face of the sport um, on the logo and everything as well. Uh, mentioning LeBron James as well, this this is just how scary it is. They they, they both spoke to each other on Saturday, um, and I remember reading the quotes from LeBron James basically saying, you know, it's just an honour just being in the same conversation um, as Kobe Bryant. Forget about the record that I've just beaten; that was currently his, but. I mean, I mean, how do how do how do he feel about this? Because he has lost not only his hero but probably his best friend as well. Yeah, in the, uh, that conversation that you were talking about was when uh, LeBron James passed Kobe Bryant for on the all-time record for most points scored uh, in NBA history over a career. Um, it was called, it was just over thirty three thousand and four hundred points, I think it was um, around that margin there. And yeah, just a, a true. A, a true recognition, really, of uh, one great recognizing another. Kobe Bryant's last tweet out to um, out on on Twitter uh, before his passing was actually uh, a congratulation towards LeBron James for passing him on the uh, the all-time uh, point score scoring uh, record in the NBA. Uh, Three thousand six hundred, uh, thirty-three thousand six hundred and forty-four points in total. Um, LeBron got to to pass Kobe on on that day. And uh, and yeah, just just mere mere hours later, he sadly passed away. Uh, just shows straight it, all the way to the end. Uh, Kobe really only had one thing on his mind, and that was um, to help make people better, to help improve people's lives on and off the court. And um, a lot of people were really for a part of his structure. Um, if he would be able to transition away from the game when he did retire, um, and uh, because a lot of time in the past it has been troubling for for NBA stars and for starts of all sports because you go from one extreme to another um, but for him it was seen seamless because he just went on to achieve great things as well with his uh, Mamba mentality his um, Mamba academy as well and of course he did win an Oscar as well for best uh, short film yes. for his uh, basketball story which is a, a reflection on his, uh, his, basically, his basically his love story with the game of basketball so just truly an inspirational human, human being and uh, he will be uh, sorry. Maybe definitely be missed. Uh, age of forty-one is way way too early for him to go because he had so much life left in him, even away from the sport of basketball. And anyone that anyone that's met him would say just how how much of an inspirational uh, person he was.